family from our area owns one of the few homes in a Florida town that is still standing after Hurricane Michael. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Today the house is featured in a famous national newspaper. This is a picture of the white beachfront home that was directly in the path of Hurricane Michael on the front page of the New York Times. Hannah Lawrence joins us now live with what the homeowners say they did to make sure it would withstand the strongest storm. Yeah, Josh and Latricia, the picture landed right here on the front page of the New York Times today. The family tells me this is the Sand Palace. They specifically built it with storms like Michael in mind. Video from the Coast Guard shows one of the few houses still standing in Mexico Beach, Florida. Yes, we are still standing. Heather Lackey's family finished building this house about five months ago. We wanted to make sure that it was going to hopefully withstand a very large storm. And it did. Her family watched footage from their security camera as the storm came through. You could see the wind. You could see debris flying by. You could tell that the, the roof was kind of shaking like an airplane wing would be. This is a picture of what it looks like tonight, surrounded by destruction on the front page of the New York Times. I think there are lessons that can be taken from that for new construction homes. So does FEMA. I hope uh, that the country won't forget it. Uh, and that when you go back to rebuild these areas that you do so in a resilient fashion that we don't rebuild to the same standards. Lackey says her family went above and beyond building requirements for this area and even the recommendations from engineers here at home. We are very grateful for the things that we did what? to add to the structure. Tonight her husband and her uncle are at their vacation oasis surveying the damage around it. LeBron said that it was unimaginable. There are no words to describe the destruction that has occurred there. Lackey said that it did cost a bit more money to build this home the way that they did. She says there's a little damage on the outside of it tonight. For example, the staircase blew away, but it was supposed to so that it didn't rip off any other parts of the house. Reporting live in the newsroom, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Hannah, thank you. Lackey told us about a few things she believes helped the house make it through that storm. It was built with thicker concrete walls. She says her family put in a special windows to made uh, to last in a hurricane. They also put the foundation 40 feet down in the ground instead of the recommended 30 